Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got one for you today. We've got a little button in our header up here. When I click on it, it's going to pop out into a light box with a contact form there. And it'll stay where it is if they try and scroll up and down. And of course people can fill it out, send it off when they're ready and get rid of it. Really nice feature to have on your site really easy to do. We're going to be using a bit of code from Elegant Themes today and I'll put this link below the video. To set this up the first thing we need to do is go to this page. We roll about halfway down this page. It's a great read if you want to read the article. We've got some CSS code right here. What you're going to want to do is copy all of that. Make sure you've got it all from the top of the B to the closing curly brackets there. Control C to copy, then go to Divi, we'll go down to the dashboard, down to Divi, theme options. On the general tab, roll on down and go ahead and paste your code right there. I'm going to undo mine because I've already got it in there. But once you've done that, hit the save changes. Then we'll go back and there's one more piece of code right here. If we roll on down, we've got a bit of script, JavaScript. This bit, again, you want to copy all of it from the opening pointy bracket there to the end of the closing pointy bracket of script there. Again, Control C, to copy. This time, we're still in the Divi options. We're going to go over to integration and we're going to add it to the head of your blog. Yours won't have anything in there unless you've got something else going on there and simply paste it in there. When you're done again, just go up to the top, hit the save changes. Great. Well, this is going to enable us to build our pop up using no plugin, which is really handy. So let's go to the theme builder now and I've created a global header to do this. I'm going to go in there. I'll simply delete the global header I've got and we'll start from scratch. OK, I'm going to add a global header. I'm going to build a global header. I'm going to keep mine very simple today, but you can go to town on yours if you want to. I'm going to add a row inside. I'm going to just keep mine really easy with three columns. Inside the first column, I'm going to put my logo in the shape of an image. You could do that with the menu module as well if you want to. I'm going to do it this way today. I'll pop my little logo in there. That's great. And of course, if it's going to be the logo, you might want to link it to the root of your site right there and keep it in the same window. Background, I don't want any background, but it's way too big. Design wise, I want it to be in the middle of the column it's sitting in and be a lot smaller. So I'm clicking on sizing. I'm just going to pull the width down until it's about where I want it. About 50%, that's a little small maybe. Something like that. Obviously adjust yours how you need to. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right there. In the middle column, I'm gonna put my menu. I'm gonna roll on down. Use a menu module for this. I'm gonna put my little mega menu in there. If I move this out of the way. There it is. Design wise, all I'm gonna do is pop it into the middle Fantastic. I'm going to leave it like that for the moment. And over in my right hand column, I'm going to put a button, just a regular Divi button. And that's what we're going to use for our pop up contact form. And I guess we better say contact us or whatever you want to say. And again, I'm going to leave that just like that. OK, well, let's see what we've got going on here. I'm going to take any padding away from the section, the blue tab that's way too wide for what I need at the moment. So I'm going to go into design. I'm going to go down to spacing. Padding, I'm going to put a zero in the top and hit the chain. It'll do the bottom for me. Let's shrunk it up a little bit. I'll put a little border on the bottom so you can see what's going on. Let's just roll down to border. And let's give it perhaps one pixel. And I'll make it a sort of light gray color. That way you'll see where it ends. There it is right there, there's the end. Still a little bit wide for me. I can take a bit more off the row in a moment. 
So, well, let's get it the size we want. Let's do the row, green tab for the row. Again, I'm gonna to go to design and spacing. And let's try giving it 20 top and bottom. Even 15, I think. Let's try 15. And again, I'll hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. That's fine size-wise for me. I'm gonna leave it right there. Great, well, let's go into this button now. And I want it to be in the middle and I'm simply gonna make it purple for simplicity. So let's go over design alignment. I'm gonna pop it in the middle. The reason I'm popping these in the middle when we reduce down to tablet and mobile, they'll stack on top of each other and be center aligned. Okay, let's go down to the button. I'm gonna use custom styles, text size. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, 16. I think I've got for most of my text on my site. Text color, I'll make it white. It'll disappear into the background there. Let's give it a background color, purple. Give it a quick hover color. This is common to all Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing. If there's an arrow there, click on it. Then you can set a different state for when the mouse is on it by hitting the hover there. And let's flip it back to desktop. Great. Don't want any border on there. Border radius, I'm gonna make mine a little curve, so let's perhaps give it 20 pixels. We've got a sort of pill shape button there. Letter spacing and font, I'm gonna leave pretty much as they are. I will capitalize mine though. And I don't think I want to show an icon on hover, so I'm gonna turn that off right there. And I am just gonna add a bit of text shadow to offset it from the button. Great, so we're good to go now. All I need to do is pop it down so it's a little more central. It's too high up, as is our little menu right there. So let's do that. I'm gonna go down to spacing below. On the top margin, let's try 10 pixels. There, a little too much. You can increment up and down with the little arrows to get it where you want right there. I think that's gonna work for me. Now comes the important part. We've actually got to give this a CSS class. So if you go over to advance, down to CSS IDs and classes, we're gonna give it a class, not an ID, we're gonna give it a class. If we go back to our article up here and roll up, it'll tell us when we created our button, we need to give it a class of ELB button one. Now because, I'm gonna copy that, and let's go back. Now, because I've got several of these pop-ups on my site, I'm gonna make this say number 10. If you've got more than one on a page, you just have to change the number on the end and it'll still work. And when we create the pop-up form, we do it for its class also. You'll see what happens then in a little while. Great, so we've given it the class that's gonna pop up the section that we create in a moment. Let's just pop that mega menu down a little bit, a little bit high on the top, design, to go down to spacing let's try uh, 10 pixels on the top yeah it's about right i'm gonna leave it just like that okay well let's now create the actual form that we want to pop up so i'm going to add a new section a little blue button i'm going to make it a regular section inside i'm going to keep this very simple i'm going to put a row inside that row i'm going to put obviously a contact form and I won't configure this. I'm sure you all know how to configure a contact form. Title, success message, submit button. The important part, where it's gonna go right there. Apart from that, I'm gonna leave it just as it is. We'll save that. My row, green tab, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna give it a background color under content, background. I'm gonna make mine black. And I'll give it a bit of padding all around because what's going to happen is we're going to have a little close button up here. So I'll give it a bit of padding at the top, give that a bit of real estate to deal with. Design, spacing. And let's say give it 50 pixels all around. Just put in the 50, it'll put in the pics, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Great, so we've got a bit of space each side, top and bottom there as well. Okay, my section which is gonna pop up over the top of everything like a light box. I'm gonna give it a slightly opaque dark background. 
So I'm going to click on the blue tab for the section. I'm going to go in there. Let's make it black initially. I'm going to click on the field. Variegated slider over here's opacity. If we take it down, we'll be able to see some of the white appear behind it. There we go. So when it's all over the top of the site, the site will be grayed out a little bit, but you'll still be able to read it right there. Right, here comes the important part. This is where we've got to give it its CSS class. So again, let's go over to Advanced, CSS IDs and Classes. We want to make it a class again, not an ID. Again, let's go back. And if we roll up here, it'll tell us the section that we create. We need to give it the class name of ELB Content 1. And again, with these numbers, I changed my button to a 10 at the end there. So if you've got more than one, you can increment to whatever you need to there. So as long as those numbers coincide, this will know to pop up this. Well, let's save it and see what we've got. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to save the changes. Let's X out a little purple bar at the top. Make sure all the changes are saved on this page. And let's visit our site. There we go, there's our new header that we just created. Here's our contact us button. When I click on it, it pops out our little form right there. People can fill it out. Obviously send it off. When they're done, click out of it, and that's great. And because we've added it to a header here, of course it's gonna be on every page. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.